Thank you. Have a nice day. Alrighty. After a one hour trip from Philadelphia, I'm finally here in Yardley. What's up, YouTube? So today is September 6, 2015. I just got here to Yardley Station through the SEPTA Regional Rail. I'm going to be exploring this little lake today right next to the Delaware Canal called Lake Afton or Afton Lake. We got to do some multi-species fishing there. Uh, I'm supposed to meet my friend Frank here at this parking lot so I'm currently waiting for him. Not sure if he's already here so for now you know I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Uh, I've never met Frank in real life so we've been communicating through Facebook is gonna be uh, quite a wonderful opportunity, you know, to fish together with him. Also, I would like to uh, thank one of my subscribers, Sierra. You know, he also pointed me out uh, to Afton Lake in Yardley. You know, so many thanks to you, Sierra. And we will see if I can catch some fish today. I'll keep you guys updated. Damn, man. And this pond was really good when I first found it. Uh -huh. I found it from a buddy of mine. He goes, dude, my wife goes to the Starbucks in Yardley. Uh, have you ever <laughs> been to the lake there? And I'm like, no, lake in Yardley. I said, I've been to Silver Lake up the road. He goes, no, 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 it's, it's right by the Starbucks. She said she sees all them big colorful goldfish you catch. I'm like, boy, he was like, I guess that's what it's called. Yeah. I drive down here. As soon as I walked up, I seen three of them. And I was like, oh, sweet. I'm looking around, I see carp over here, carp over there. I was mm -hmm. like, good, I'm fishing it. First day I fished it was a Saturday. I caught seven carp that day, came back Sunday, caught six more. Okay. And then it was like that for like the first year, year and a half I fished it. Okay. And then the local kids started seeing me catch them using bread, floating bread, and then they would do like the whole corn thing. Okay. And then it got to be the point where it was like, I can't even hook one now. Wow. Frog water today. So that's what you gotta be using, huh? a little frog. Wow, and you were confident you're gonna get some top water bites. All right, man. Woo. Should start right here. Uh, yeah, go for it, man. Hi, I'm excited to see you catch some fish. <laughs> Better get my stuff set up too. Hi, how's it going? Oh yeah, that looks really thick. There we go, man. Ha <laughs> There we go, man. Check this out, guys. Frank lands the first fish of the day. Largemouth bass on a topwater frog. Classic. Yeah. All right. Let's take a photo too. Let's no, no. Let's take a photo, man. Oh yeah. No kidding, man. Pulling a largemouth bass out of here. I got a couple of trees out of here, too. Might have been the same. 
same fish a couple times, but. Let's see, little sunfish, what we got here. Right, little green sunfish. That's my first fish of the day, folks. As always, I've been catching a lot of green sunfish in my videos recently. You guys can see Lepomis cyanellus, yellow marks here on the caudal fin, anal fin. All right, little mark on the operculum, blue. Let's take a photo of it. As I told you guys, previously I'm here with my friend Frank. This is our first time fishing together. I've known him for a little while now. We talked through Facebook. And you know, I've never I've never really recorded any species here from this lake, right? Frank, what's the name of this lake again? Lake Afton. Lake Afton here in Yardley. So there we go. Today I'm gonna do a, a little bit of multi-species fishing here. See what species are inside this place. And hopefully Frank is going to show us some nice bass. As you guys saw, he caught one already. Hopefully he's going to catch something a little bit bigger. We will see. All right, we'll keep you guys updated. So folks, I've been fishing here a little while with my friend uh, Frank now. Afton Lake in Yardley, New Jersey. As you guys can see, we got about a good 60 to 70% of the lake covered in vegetation, okay? Which is actually a good environment for largemouth bass depending on the thickness of the green stuff. And as you guys can also see, there are one, two, three little fountains that probably the county put it here. So, you know, you don't really get a summer kill like a fish kill during the summertime, right? There's enough oxygen for the fish. But just so you guys know, you know, places like this, usually this algae bloom, right, is how usually people refer to it too, is very likely due to runoff water when it rains from all the lawns around this area. So what happens is folks use products on their lawn that are rich in nutrients. And what usually happens is it rains, all the water falls inside the lake, and then you have these things here, okay? So just so you guys know, a solution to this kind of problem is not using products to kill the vegetation inside your local body of water, okay? The solution for this is actually to tell folks who live around that body of water to not use certain products for their lawn care. And that is something extremely hard to do. So Afton Lake, there you go. You guys can have a good view of it. Very, very similar to the vegetation, top water vegetation in Newton Lake in New Jersey or the FDR Park, Madden Lake in South Philadelphia. All right, just for you guys to have an idea. All right, back to the multi-species fishing. Let's see if we can land some more fish. I mean, have you caught in when there's like thick vegetation? No. Nah. Oh, I see. Okay. It's hard to get through it. Uh-huh, I hear you. Come on, little fella, come up. This is the awesomeness of this place. Every time you pull a little fish out of here, it comes together with some green stuff on it. Mm. So yeah, there we go. Second sample of green sunfish right here, all right? And if you guys are not familiar, the green sunfish is one of the four most common species of sunfish around Philadelphia and surroundings. It is also the most resistant to oxygen. So usually when you have fish kills, in small places, the green sunfish is the one species that usually survive, okay, among the other three. Alright, all right, let's see what we got here. Oh, that was another bluegill. Are you guys recording the species for some kind of research? He's doing a science project. He's supposed to observe the ecosystem. Okay. No, that's amazing. That's, yeah, man. Good luck on that. Yeah, it's really nice. I fully encourage it. Good luck. All right, let's see if we can pull another sunfish. Yeah, there we go. But this is another bluegill, so. Ouch, sorry, buddy. Hey, that whole snake 
same thing. Like, look at the Potomac. They make that big deal about it. Oh, we got to kill everyone. It's going to ruin the bass fishing on the Potomac. You talk to the guys that, like, really bass fish there, they said it couldn't be better right now. <laughs> yeah, they're getting big. They're getting really big in the Potomac. I think I saw a 17-pounder that was from the Potomac just recently. All right, the bluegill are getting a little bit bigger in size now. All right, fellas, there we go. This is a nice bluegill sample. All right. Afton Lake, if you have kids, God, take your kids here, you know. Let them catch some sunfish. Awesome day here so far with the sunnies. All right, second species, bluegill. That's very true. There we go. Oh, nice. How big you think that is? I'm gonna punch through the pads, man. I gotta keep tension on them. Exactly, gotta keep tension on the fish. All the junk is coming together that's with it. That's a nice it. fish. All right, Frank says that's a nice fish. I'm, I'm saying two and a half pounds if he says it's a nice fish. Wow, man, look at all the junk that came with the fish. Oh, it's a nice fish. All right, that's a nice fish. Whoo, yes, it came with a bunch of vegetation. But yeah, I agree with Frank, that's a nice fish. Pays off in the end. It's a large mouth. Yeah, let's take a nice photo of it. <laughs> hey, nice, man. Nice catch. Thank you. Frog, right? Yes. Pad right. crasher. Pad crasher. Let me take another one just in case. Yeah. No. All right. It's catch and release only. Yep. I mean, for us at least. No, it is. It's posted. Oh, it is? All right. Nice. Nice fish, man. Thank you. All right, folks. So I fished here Afton Lake with my friend Frank over there. Yeah, you, as you guys saw, he caught two largemouth bass. I ended up landing two different types of sunnies only, green sunfish and bluegill. But you know, it is good to know that this place has some bass. And I would like to point it out that this place is catch and release only, okay? There's a big notice here at Afton Lake in Yardley, okay? Catch and release only, all right? So I actually encourage the signs. Every place should have a sign like this, you know? Unless, of course, you know, big rivers right or trout approved waters but yes so folks if you come here to fish don't forget don't take fish home all right catch and release only hey what's up folks so as you guys saw i fished with my friend frank h it was our first time fishing together i never really met him in real life you know until this fishing session I was actually very surprised to see that he has somewhat of a southern accent, <laughs> or at least I think so, okay? But he was actually, you know, born and raised around here in the Northeast. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, Frank H. Does not, have a fa uh, does not have a YouTube channel, okay? So I, I, I can't really, you know, give him a shout out. However, recently, he was featured in one of uh, Hookshot's video, okay? And Hookshot's is this branch from Field and Stream. They did a really, really neat video about flathead catfish in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. So, you know, and Frank was in it too, as well as my other two friends, um, Chris McIntyre and Peter Sharp. So I'm leaving that video in the info button above so you guys can, you know, take a look at it. Very cool video. Uh, you know, Joe, the guy who edits the video and does the things for hook shots, he does a wonderful job at it. So, you know, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. This is my kind of shout out towards Frank, right? And, uh, you know, you guys should know Frank, although he caught only largemouth bass in this video, which for me actually was very surprising because the vegetation was really, really thick and he was able to catch it on top water frog. Uh, he's actually a carp angler at heart. So he is sponsored by a few companies out there and he fishes what I call the European carp style, okay? He uses the little European carp pod with the rods and he's got 
the net and the landing match and he does all the kinds of different mix for baits and stuff so i talked to frank about that we definitely gotta do a carp fishing session together in the future when we do you guys gotta see the difference between the european style and between the regular i won't say ghetto style just the regular style of using corn on the hook okay so i don't know when that video will be coming up uh, it really depends on frank's availability and when we can meet up in the future again but be expecting a carp video in the future with frank in it he's gonna show us the true european techniques towards carp all right all the carp pod and the t -t 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 -t, you know the bite detector stuff <laughs> but anyways uh, so, so that's what happened, all right? Two large mouth bass at Afton Lake, a couple sunnies. Uh, my buzz is coming now, so I will talk to you guys later. Tie lines until next video, folks.